For those of you that don't know me, I am Louise's grandfather. And it was my honour and privilege to give it away in this ceremony. I can't say any more just that the bridesmaids and the grooms and the older dwelling made it a perfect service. So I just ask you to raise your glass and drink a toast with me to the new Mr. and Mrs. Briggs, Louise and Adam. And I don't want to say any more because two days of after me, she can talk for England. <laughs> I haven't met yet, I'm Judy, and I'm the happiest mother a bride has ever had. Today is the 12th of August, the glorious 12th, and it's definitely glorious. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for being here today on behalf of us. It means the world to us to be sharing our day with all of our favourite people. Thank you for joining us here at Heaton House to witness my daughter and new son-in-law becoming husband and wife. Mum always used to dress as the same, like every single day. She's even freaking done it today. <laughs> but I would always look immaculate for the rest of the day, whilst you couldn't even get out of the house without having ready break usually, or toothpaste all over you. Louise, you are my best friend. It was clear when we first got together five years ago that you matched my loyalty, ambition, and most importantly, my humour. Adam, our lives have been entangled since infant school. We just didn't realise it. So many times fate has tried to push us together from living around the corner to each other, going to the same schools and having some of the same friends. It didn't take me long for me to fall for you as you've always been the most supportive, caring, and thoughtful girlfriend and fiancé. Finally we met properly on a night out and we shared our first kiss. I have been in love with you from this moment and I will promise to love you forevermore. Adam and Louise are here today to be married and we're all here to witness their marriage, share in their happiness and make this a memorable day for them. I promise to always be by your side through our happiest times but also our saddest times. Anything we face will always be done together. Already you have shown what an amazing man you are by being there for me in the best and worst of times. I can't wait to have many more amazing moments with you as husband and wife. I know we have had so many adventures together already, but we have so many more to come. Being able to love you is the best thing that has and ever will happen to me. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. As your wife, I promise to encourage and support you in all you do. I promise to always be honest and stand by your side. I promise to never knowingly cook you mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> but most of all, I promise to be your best friend and make you laugh every day. You complete my world and I can't wait to call you my husband and be Mrs. Briggs. You are punching me. And I'm not even joking, you are seriously punching. I can say that because it's clearly something that the Briggs man are fairly good at. No, right, Dad. Watching you grow from our little girl into a beautiful bride has filled me with such joy and pride. Everyone you meet is touched by your kindness, love for life, cheeky humour, and above all, your beauty. Same. You light up my life every single day. You're beautiful inside and out. I'm pretty sure my family like you more than me. And to be honest, I can't even argue with that. I don't care whether we are out with friends or sat watching Cory in our PJs together. I like spending time here. I've known Adam since the 30th of November 1992. Three-year-old me thought I was being taken for a leisurely afternoon out with my nan and granddad only to be suddenly taken into the labour ward at Kalo Hospital and introduced to him. Everyone said, this is your new brother. 
Sorry, what? Traditionally, the speech would be given by Kevin, Louisa's dad. Sadly, that can't be. I know he's here in spirit and would be so, so proud of the beautiful woman that Louise has become. Today, he would have walked an inch or two taller and be bursting with pride. This month marks five years of us being together and it really didn't take long for me to decide you were the girl I wanted to marry and spend the rest of my life. Being by your side today has been a true honour and comfortably one of the proudest days of my life. Louise, I couldn't wish for a better man for you. We work so well in so many ways. We bounce off each other's energy, match one another's ambitions, support each other through absolutely anything, and most importantly, we tell one another, I love you, at the end of every day, whether it's been a good day, a bad day, or I've been annoying again. I don't tell you enough, but you're not just my little brother, you're genuinely one of my best mates, and I love you to bits. I know mum and dad are so proud of you too, all a parent wants is for their kids to be happy and know that they're settling down with their perfect match. They're over the moon to be welcoming Louise into the family as their daughter-in-law and finally have the two daughters that they wish that we were. <laughs> you standing on that aisle looking gorgeous in your wedding dress, I remembered how lucky I am to be able to call you my wife and spend my life by your side. Louise. I know Adam will always treat you with respect and love. He's one of the most loyal, caring and kind people I know. You are a very lucky lady. We are also thrilled to be welcoming you into our family officially today. You're smart, funny, grounded, and I couldn't wish for a better match for my little brother to make his wife and to spend the rest of his life with. So, to both of you, Marriage is like a long journey which thrives on love, commitment, trust and patience. May the years ahead be filled with joy. May your love grow stronger each and every day. So I'd just like to ask everybody to raise their glasses for a toast to my little brother and his gorgeous wife, Adam and Louise. Finally, Louise, Mrs. Briggs, Briggs. Uh. <laughs>